We have been in the site for almost three decades. Amr Dabour is the imam at Durham's largest mosque. He says since the building has been on Fayetteville Street, his people have never experienced such blatant disregard for the sanctity of their mosque as they did November 2nd when thieves broke in. Not only these doors were completely broken, but uh, I guess like six, seven doors inside the building, almost all the rooms and offices. We have been feeling okay, no problem at all, at all for years. But this, this was really very strange. Strange enough that after local mosque leaders filed the police report with Durham authorities, the Council on American Islamic Relations, based in our nation's capital, sought the help of federal officials. And we've also contacted the FBI. Uh, to see what they can do with the uh, incident. The civil rights and advocacy groups say they fear Muslims in the headlines prompted this incident. The police had already warned the mosque about potential backlash because of the recent terror arrests. Uh, we believe that uh, law enforcement authorities should investigate the incident with the possibility of a biased motive in uh, mind. They might share with us some uh, faith some Islamic things, but we're not responsible for any action of anybody. That's why we should not be associated with anybody else. Mosque leaders say the broken windows and doors have been repaired, but the emotional damage still remains. That's why I'm saying this is very ridiculous. We do not understand what's going on. Maybe somebody misunderstand the community, misunderstand the what we are here for. In Durham, Miracle King, News 14, Carolina.